Hey what's going on guys welcome to another video and in today's video I'm gonna talk about bootstrap I'm gonna give you a quick explanation of uh, how does it work and why is it so important for you to learn it uh, so some of you already already saw in my videos that uh, I talked about the the most important skills that you should have in order for you to get your first job and Apart from the HTML, CSS and JavaScript, because these ones are really like the basics that you need to know, Bootstrap is just right after, okay? This is another skill that if you know it, is going to increase your chances to get a job. Uh, because Bootstrap is just like used everywhere. If you're going to look, talk with other developers that they are working in many different companies, most of the times, like 90% of the companies, they use Bootstrap because it really helps you build a website faster and make sure that everything is like consistent. Um, all right, so Bootstrap is just like a library um, that uh, a lot of people wrote some code that you can use on your um, on your project. So I'm going to give you a quick explanation of how does this work and then I'm going to implement Bootstrap. I'm, I'm going to try to not make this too long. So first thing I'm going to do in here is, look, I have a complete empty uh, HTML. Okay, so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to start a completely new HTML uh, page. So I'm going to put in here, let's say, oops, I'm going to put in here a div. So something like this. And uh, I'm just going to write down something, something like this, blue. And I'm going to put another div in here, for example, a div a red, okay? And let me just open this one, my bootstrap index. We got in here, look, that is blue. I'm going to even put a little bit of zoom in here so you guys can see better. Got blue, got red, what we have in here. So what I want to do is I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to save it. Okay, file, save as... I'm going to call it uh, main.css and here it is and what I'm going to do in here is <clears throat> I'm going to create for example uh, a class of uh, blue so if I create in here this class of blue and this class of blue I'm going to give it a background color of blue all right and I'm going to create another one in here uh, call I can I can call like background dash blue and in here I'm gonna call another one like background red for example and I'm gonna give it the style of background color red okay let's import this in here this is what is important so I'm going to call in here a link for the CSS and it's going to be main.css. Now <clears throat> that we created this, this file in here with, uh, with this class background blue, background red, I can go in here and pass it class and background blue. And I'm going to do the same in here. I'm just going to copy this up copy this and I'm going to put in here red. I'm going to save this and let's see how does this look. As you can see now we have this background color blue and this background color red in here. And basically this file that we created in here you can pass it to anyone in the world. And if these people they use these classes that you created just like in here I'm gonna create another one for example um, I'm gonna create another called font dash color dash white and now I'm gonna put the color to be white okay look this is another one of my classes that I created that I, I can use now there is some kind of error in here I'm not sure ah I think this is the problem. Okay, so if I go in here into the blue one and now I'm going to add this font 
color white. You can imagine what's gonna happen in this div with a class of blue. Let me refresh, it's gonna have a color of white. So that's exactly how Bootstrap works, okay? There is a lot of these kind of um, classes, names, names of classes that you will need you don't need to memorize because you can all the time go in here to the to the website and check them but i'm going to guide you through it now so now you can see basically how bootstrap works it's just a bunch of files that some people they created they gave it some names and they put the styles on it and it basically you just have to import it like i imported this file in here and then put on your elements in the html page the name of that classes that they created. So let me just, uh, uh, I'm just gonna get rid of this stuff in here, this class, okay? Get rid of these, I'm gonna get rid of these. And let's start with Bootstrap, just, just to give you a quick, a quick heads up. First thing, if you go to Bootstrap, uh, you can see this is the main page. You can either download it, so you have like the files, and when you have the files, you can import it. You have to put, of course, in the, you should put it, of course, in the same folder as your project, but you can import it in here, like locally, like I did with this uh, file that I just created, or, oops, or you can uh, just go in here to this bootstrap CDN and copy these links. So you don't need to mess up with any files, but these, this requires the internet connection for your for your um, project to load all of these things. So I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna put uh, uh, I'm gonna put this one up, and uh, it's ready. But also you need to put if you are gonna use things like carousels, modals that Bootstrap has, uh, you should put as well the JavaScript. So we can just put it in here, for example. Um, okay, so we got this one and we got this one. Right, okay, let's start importing some things in here from Bootstrap. So we can go in here to, this is examples. This is gonna give you a lot of websites built with uh, Bootstrap that you can check or you can go into documentation. Look at this in here in documentation. Let's say, for example, that I want to go to layout. Uh, not layout, maybe components. Right. Look, if I want to create something like this, with this kind of styling, I just have to copy this. Look. A div. I'm going to put it in here. And look, they have this class alert and alert primary. So I'm going to save this. I'm going in here to my project. I'm going to reload the page. Look. Now we have a div with the colors and with the background color exactly as this one. I, I have some zoom in here. So I'm just going to take the zoom out. But as you can see, it's completely replicated. Uh, let's see some other stuff cool that we, we can do in here. Look, some buttons. They have all these buttons that you only have to pass in the classes. Look, for example, this primary. You just have to copy this button. I'm going here. I'm going to copy this up. We have a button with a type of button and with a class. All of these classes are classes from Bootstrap. All right. So look at this. Let me refresh. We got our primary button in here. And is this one as you can see if you want for example this one in here the red you can put the success look copy this one I'm going in here I'm gonna put paste R refresh the page and there it is success the button and and you you can use you see is everything already styled you don't need to go in here and put uh, um any kind of things in here so as you can see there is like so many things that you can do let's go in here for example look at this all of this section in here with this background color with this button you could just like go in here copy this text go in here paste it and 
Oops, I need to open my index.html and here it is with all the styles and everything. And of course, you can also go in here now on the top and just apply your own styles. Uh, let's let's say, for example, that you don't like this uh, background color in here. Look, is this one that has the class of Jumbotron? Let me just link my CSS in here. So I have to go in here and put my CSS and I'm going to put in here main, main.css and I'm going to put in here, for example, uh, I'm going to create a class in here for um, a royal, royal blue. Okay, I created this class in here and I'm going to put it in here like this and I'm going to put a, <clears throat> I'm going to put in here a background color of royal roy royal blue okay and i'm gonna save this i'm gonna refresh the page and look now it's overwritten you just need to make sure that your css file is after the bootstrap one you can also put for example these where, where is the the navs that usually you can create some na navigation bars that they are uh, really really fast let's say let's say um you got a lot of one in here i could go in here to nav bars look this one's in here there is this one there is this one in here with a drop down link so you can have like a nav bar really really fast Look, look at all of these ones in here. I'm, I'm just going to put this one in here. Um, let's say I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to paste it. Uh, let's refresh the page. And look, we have our navbar in here. We got home features pricing. You have a drop down. And if you press F12 and you go into look is everything is done for you basically and of course you can go in here and uh, edit this by yourself let's say for example uh, what it says in here navbar i'm gonna put in here telmo okay so i'm gonna put in here telmo uh, okay let's refresh so he's, he's already like Telmo, home features. Instead of features, I want to put, for example, where is it features in here? I could put portfolio, portfolio. Uh, in here, I could put uh, uh, blog, for example. I'm going to refresh. Look, look at this. How nice does it look like? And obviously, like I said, you can even edit this uh, yourself. But uh, yeah, I don't want to, to, to be with this video like for too long. But as you guys can see, there is a lot more stuff in here like forms, drop downs, carousels. Uh, so many different things that you can go in here. And it, it just helps you when you are building a website that you want to do fast. You can just like drop these kind of things and uh, it's going to help you build something fast. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I hope you guys could understand a little bit more about how Bootstrap works. It's, not, it's nothing difficult, like I said. This is just a bunch of code that some people, they wrote. Um, and, and you can even look at this. I can even go in here and inspect. And you can see the kind of classes that they are using. Let's say, for example, I click in here into this div. Uh, look. You have all the CSS things in here that they are using for the navbar, nav and everything. And you can go and edit them yourself. Alright guys, I think that's it for this video. I hope you could understand a bit more how Bootstrap works. And let me tell you, it's really important for you to learn it. Because this skill is required uh, in a lot of jobs. Especially when you are starting out, it's really good for you to know it. Uh, Alright guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you like it. Subscribe to the channel if this is your first video and I'll see you in the next one.